Can I resurrect it though? <laughs> Fair enough, it was worth a shot. Okay. Let's see. Is it called Conjure Horse? Oh god, what was it? <laughs> Bound Horse? Conjure Horse? Summon Horse? Oh, there we go. Summon Daedric Horse. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, apparently we can't, <laughs> we should not do that. It has instantly crashed me to desktop. <laughs>When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had traveled out from the western reaches of Skyrim land all the way to the eastern reaches. <laughs> Probably shouldn't call them the reaches, given that there is an area called the reach. But that section, they were there. And in that area, that section, they found a cave filled with mythic dawn goons, hoping to do the work and labor of Lord Dagon in order to accomplish what they had failed at doing so many years ago. But, thankfully, there was yet another prophecy- well, were they prophesied this time? I don't know. <laughs> there was another cool person who showed up just as the hero of Kavach did ages ago. Yes, the last dragonborn was here to thwart their plans, but as it turned out, they were playing directly into their hands and ripped open a big, nasty oblivion gate right in the middle of the fucking Velothi Mountains. And so they had to go inside and hopefully somehow defeat the forces of Merun's Dagon and close shut the jaws of oblivion. <laughs> this is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. Let's do it. Zoop. Now, you will also notice, if you're watching these videos as they're coming out, that this one was a little bit late. That's because I, uh, in all my foolishness, decided to finally update my Skyrim uh, everything. <laughs> right, there was an update, I don't know, sometime last week. Of course, I tried to put it, put that off. Um, by way of, you know, well, because of the fact that there would be, like, issues with the script extender and all the other fucking mods and stuff. And, thankfully, it seems like almost all of the important ones are now good to go. And it just took me a little bit of, uh, moving shit around and all that. <laughs> Which, uh, it's, it's a lot, it's probably a lot easier than I'm making it sound, but I'm just incompetent. <laughs> I'm on the record about a hundred videos ago or so. I'm incompetent when it comes to this stuff and you'll see one mod which is always the source of uh, our consternation is once again <laughs> not yet fully updated. That's right. All of the ones it seems that... Oh no wait. Could it be? No. Okay, I was about to say I think... Uh, what do you call it? The survival mode one is not fully working. That is definitely the case, because here you can see these are all just hyphens. But it should still have the adequate effect, if I remember correctly, just like last time. It was just simply display error inside of the, what do you call it, fun mod here? The inventory management mod that we all know and love. Sky UI, right? So hopefully that ends up getting fixed. It should be no problem. We've been through it a million times before. And like I said, hey, in the past, we know exactly what to eat. Except for the few times we fuck up and accidentally eat raw fish and, like, shit our brains out. Anyway, let's head on out over here and check out what wonders await us in this horrific nightmare realm. The Deadlands. Wow. More plants to fart upon our bod. I love it. More roots to smack my butt. Oh, look. Oh, I'm coughing and everything. Okay. Wow, look at this. The lava situation here has definitely gotten an upgrade. It looks like some real-ass lava. Oh, shit. 
Last time, when we had come to the Deadlands way long ago, 200-something years ago... Oh shit, there's an evil Knievel right here. Holy shit, they were in stealth mode. Oh, hang on, let me just make sure. Let's see. Gameplay. Okay, yeah, we're good. Survival mode on, difficulty on high. Of course, survival mode, we won't feel the effects of it in here, because we're in, like, an ethereal plane, I think. So we won't even know whether or not it's working until we get out. There we are. Good. Flip your heart out. Lovely. But yeah, 200 years ago or so, the waters of oblivion here, the lava, looked a lot more like a jelly donut filling <laughs> than it currently does. Right? Actually, you know what? Let's see. Is it still swimmable? Ah! Wow, it is. Ah! Oh my gosh. Just ah! like old times, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, originally in Oblivion, it does start out being a threat, but you rapidly... Oh, shit. Get to the point where it's... It's just not a threat whatsoever, huh? Okay, let's make sure we got this quest tracked. Yeah. Retrieve Vonus's journal. Defeat the Dramora Valkanaz. I guess we'll start over here on the left side, and then we can work our way toward all that business over there. Right? Okay. We checked this. It does look very neat. I'm so happy to see all the, like, old, like, fleshy pods and farting plants and everything. There we go. Take this. I wonder if any of the weird booby traps will be back. You know? Oh, look! One of these! Look, if you thought the last pods were fleshy... Oh, shit! They're anim... Oh, fuck! They're animated now! Oh, God, and they have a heartbeat. I always wondered if these were, like, meant to be hearts. Obviously, back in Oblivion Land, they didn't quite look exactly like hearts, and like I said, I'm pretty sure they weren't animated. Ooh. They definitely weren't animated like that. It's opening up, like, a uh, alien egg from, like... Copyright alien, you know. Okay. Sure. Go up here. Yeah! Take that Harada. There we go. Good. Notice as well our alchemy perk. We do... Don't I still have it? Or do I not have green thumb right now? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but notice sometimes it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't always take on these. Odd. I think for the spittle sticks, though, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh. Weird. I wonder why that's the case. You know, the Harada, it doesn't work on, but the other plants, it seems to. Yeah, blood grass, it works. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how many of these we can go to. Before we wrap shit up in here, we should probably, like, go for a fun swim and everything. You know? Like, can we get over to all those? Like, once we close this Oblivion Gate, we're not gonna be able to get back in, I assume, you know? Okay. Let's look over here. And of course, we've got the wonderful music. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we'll get some of these things curving upward towards us as we're going along. You know? Oh, there's that, like, spooky horse. I don't know if it will be a friendly horse or, like, an enemy horse. I'm willing to bet a friendly one. I don't know of any creatures in this game with that sort of model, the horse-like model, that are hostile, you know? They all seem friendly. Okay. Over here. Oh, look, there's some sort of asshole as well. Tending to it. Oh no! It is hostile! Holy shit! And it's Valken Gatanus! Oh my god, they're powerful. <laughs> but they go flying like all the rest. Alright. There we are. Hang on, should we steal this dude's soul? I think so. Oh, I don't even have a. Uh... Is there a star filled? Okay. 
Come on. Wow, no gem large enough. What the fuck? Oh, uh, maybe it was a black soul. Jeez. Look at the fucking Daedric horse and its like weird design. You know what it reminds me of last time we were talking about hey this uh, alien rune really reminds me of Twi or of uh, Breath of the Wild. This one, <laughs> as I've spilled the beans, kinda reminds me of Twilight Princess. Okay. What have we got over here? Rip that out. Oh, Scourge! Which is peculiar because I'm fairly certain. Isn't Scourge a Morrowind Daedric item? Does it show up in Oblivion? I can't remember. I'm fairly certain Scourge definitely shows up in Morrowind, but I'm not sure that it actually shows up in Ob Oblivion. Huh. Which you would think it would, all things considered, but I can't remember if it does. Summon Daedra up to level 36 or sent back to Oblivion. Okay. some of this. Hey, what happens if we do it in here? Oh, shit! Conjure Daedric Horse! Yo! Okay. Alright. You know, it'd be fucking awesome. If we're, if we're handing out new sorts of conjuration shit, you know? If we're handing these out, yeah. how about we get a little, like, conjure, like, farming equipment and all that, right? Why don't we just conjure up a fucking combine harvester? <laughs> you know, what's going on? Okay. Anything over here? Anything up here? Oh shit. Here, let's also bind this before I forget about its existence at all. Oh jeez, where is it here? Let's, let's just type in horse. Okay. Sure. So now, <clears throat> we'll have a backup, if in case we get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. That said, we're probably quicker on foot with our boots of blinding speed, you know? But, of course, we can't see anything. <laughs> we, can't, we can't really appreciate and take in anything, you know? Okay. Look at this. Hanging one of these big, like, concrete acorns. Oh, do you think there's anything on that hidden? Let's see. Can I telekinese? No. Fair enough. Will this hurt me? Alright. <laughs> we'll just roleplay it's because I'm done with. <laughs> okay. Sure. Wait, do you think I can resurrect this horse? Whoa, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, it's got like a weird metal tail. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's like one of those torture like implements, one of those like fucked up whips. That makes sense. Okay. Can I resurrect it though? No. <laughs> Fair enough, it was worth a shot. Okay. Let's see. Is it called Conjure Horse? Oh god, what was it? <laughs> Bound horse, conjure horse, summon horse. Oh, there we go. Summon Daedric horse. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, apparently we can't. <laughs> we should not do that. It has instantly crashed me to desktop. <laughs> okay. I guess we shouldn't use that for the time being. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Should we see if it works again? Whew, I had to kill him again and uh, loot up all the shit, but uh, hey, let's do a quick save right here, <laughs> just in case. I feel like it will break again. <laughs> I went hunt. Oh wait, I forgot to bind it. But yeah, I a hundred percent am expecting it to like fucking crash the desktop. Let's see here. Summon Daedric Horse. Let's see. Brace for impact. Here we go. It didn't even do like a Windows beep noise or whatever, you know? Didn't even get that. Alright. Here goes nothing. Yep. 
<laughs> okay, we'll be right back again. This is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to edit, but uh, what can you do? Okay, and we are back again. Holy shit, yeah. We definitely uh, will not fuck with those unless... May maybe when uh, the Sky UI situation gets updated again, the special survival one does, maybe when that update goes through eventually, we'll try it again. <laughs> but until then, eh, we'll stick to the boots of blinding speed. Which, also, for the time being, we don't even really need to bother with it here. Because I do want to take in all the sights and sounds, right? Let's see. Track that. Got Scourge. Wait, was there actually a journal entry there for... I entered the gate and defeated a Dramora Valken as wielding the weapon Scourge. Okay, sure. Let us head on over here. Oh, look, is there actually, like, a fucking skeletal remain right there? Hold up. Oh, no. It's ebony, though. Okay, I'll take some of this. Oh, shit, that's bad. <laughs> oh, that's real bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll be right <laughs> we'll be back again. Okay, we're back once more. Now, this time, let's try it the other way. Let's see, is this also gonna get me? No? Okay, okay, look. Look at this. We're getting workarounds. We're getting workarounds. We're finding a path through Lord Dagon's horrible troubles and all of that, right? Oh my gosh. We're traveling back and forth from one, ooh, one corner of the House of Troubles to another. It's no problem. <laughs> there we go. Man, you know what? When we were going through with uh, all the fucking, <laughs> I was say, I was mentioning like, oh yeah, we're really in for it now for the like, Big time Oblivion nostalgia and all of that. It will really have some throwbacks to our Oblivion playthrough. I didn't realize we were going to get throwbacks to about halfway through and the game was about to like fucking implode on itself. <laughs> but hey, here we are. Here we are. Look, I backed up all my saves before I did all this. I backed them up just in case something irrecoverably happens. Look, it's recoverable now. Okay. Let's see here. Grab some of that. There we are. Cool. Apply that. You know what? I'll drink that too. Good. Got potions and poisons active. All sorts of wonderful, wonderful stuff. I am kind of convinced that it, it is tied to Sky UI. Because that, for some reason, the way in which Sky UI... Oh my gosh. Listen to this asshole. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my god, hell yes. But the way in which it, like, meshes with the rest of the game, I don't know, it's very odd. And, like, it's very difficult to uninstall as well. Oh, holy shit, the lava tore this asshole apart. Okay. Just like old times, too. An effective way to kill them. There we are. Look at all the spittle sticks. Look inside of its fleshy pod. Beautiful. <coughs> okay, I wonder if we'll see any of the... Oh, no way. No, there's no fucking way. I was about to say, it would fucking own ass in a major way if we saw other types of Daedra, you know? Even if it's not like one's from, like, Morrowind or Prior, you know? Or versions of them, you know? But even just Daedra from Oblivion that are not present in Skyrim, how fucking rad would it be to see some of that? Like, for example, a Gordon. Gordon's true form. That's right. Gordon's non-Krabulon mode. It would be amazing to see. Ah! Oh, fuck. Wow, they're, they move a lot more this time. I don't remember them being able to, like, smack you so well. Like, they they only twitched a little bit, but that one, that was like a full-on, like, smack and slap. Sort of like this. They would do, they would go kind of like that. That was more the norm. All right. Probably won't take all these spittle sticks. I don't know. 
I don't remember them being particularly good either. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to have them and all that, right? But uh, here, let's just eat it. Oh, cool. It hurts me. I love that. Anything else? Yeah, let's eat some blood grass. Mmm, tastes like blood. And Harada. Okay, yeah, it's it's all painful. Okay. Let's see. Go to Oblivion. First thing I want to get is a fucking salad. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have some of the blood grass salad. <laughs> Oh, look at this. This asshole over here. They have a very odd stance. Why do they look so cute? They seem like extra bulky or whatever. I don't think we're gonna see any like special cool Daedra or whatever, right? That seems like too much to program and all that. There we go. Good. Love you, God. Right, of course. Dramora Churl. Another, oh, a kind, a kinreeve. Good. Because you would have to get noises for them, you know? That would be, yeah, that would be the main issue. Is that you would have to get unique noises for those creatures and you wouldn't be able to. Oh, look at, look at this. Oh, what really hurts you in the fire is applying it a whole bunch. Like if, it hurts more if I go in and out of different sources of it, I think. Because I'm reapplying it very rapidly. More than normal. I think. I could just be imagining it. <laughs> That's going faster. Alright. If we cut over here, get anything good? Does not seem to be the case. Okay. We just need to remember to quick save very frequently because we don't know when the next shoe is going to drop. <laughs> uh oh, look, there's like. Okay. There's like emanations going on. Look at this. Oh, I was about to say, you'd think there would be a big battle here, and I guess there is. Okay. Uh, they are pretty tough. It's gotta be said. They do a decent amount. Oh, is this? Oh, that's an old school Daedric sword. Look at that. I can even tell from here. <laughs> I can't quite tell which game it's from, though. It might be Morrowind again. Torment. Yeah, I think so. I think this is the Morrowind version of a Daedric weapon. What a peculiar mix of... Like... I don't know, different bits of nostalgia. I would not have expected to find all these Morrowind, uh, what do you call them? Models. I do vastly prefer the Morrowind Daedric weapons, though. Though, that said, although I prefer the look of the Morrowind Daedric weapons, <laughs> I, I greatly prefer the Oblivion Daedric armor. I don't know. Just something about the Oblivion Daedric armor I thought looked really more cohesive or neat or something. I don't know. It was my favorite of them all. But like I said, the Morrowind Daedric weapons and stuff, I think I prefer. Sorry, Skyrim. I'm sure someone out there loves your aesthetic more. Man, get a load of this, though. Looks pretty fucking good. Look at the little, like, hilt and shit. Is that like a face on it? It's so shiny, you know? What about Scourge? How does that look? It's too purple to really appreciate and tell. Okay. Looks like a fan version of- <laughs> Oh god, I should have quick saved. <laughs> okay, next time we equip one, <laughs> we'll quick save. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Because I want to say the... I might be wrong. I might be wrong that this isn't the Morrowind uh, model. Or a play on it, I guess I should say. Obviously, it's got a lot more polygons. But I want to say that the Oblivion Daedric Sword 
looked more like a cutlass or a saber than anything. What does this also do? 30 points of damage. Fire damage. Okay. Sure. Ooh. Can we sit in this? No. Fair enough. Probably for the best. <laughs> Let's be honest. Probably for the best. <laughs> I say as I nervously quick save. There we go. Good. Okay. Over here. It is extremely funny to me that, <laughs> that we're having yeah. stability problems again right now <laughs> of all times when we're doing the Oblivion shit. <laughs> it was very spooky in the midst of the Oblivion pay playthrough. People have written in before in this Skyrim playthrough about like, oh shit, I don't know. Lyle, I think, I think the game is about to be fucking kaput. I was like, Psh, this is nothing <gasps> compared to what I went through with Oblivion. <laughs> Okay, over here, we'll take some of this. Ah! Shit. Oh, fuck. Again? What was- what was the issue? Oh my gosh. Alright, alright. Oh fuck, this is not good. Alright, it's like Oblivion, it's like Oblivion, I take it back! <laughs> we'll bear it back again, we'll bear it back. Okay, we are back once more. <laughs> alright, let us equip... Scourge. You know what? Let's see what will happen here. <laughs> if I swing this fucking thing around. <laughs> Let's see. What's gonna happen if I hit you with this shit? Oh shit. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay. How <laughs> did it take? What do, what do you think happened? I don't... Alright, we'll, we'll be right back again. We'll be right back again. <laughs> oh, fuck, this is so bad. This is so bad. Alright, we're back once more. <laughs> Let's see. Can we fucking do it in time before whatever happens, happens? I'm going to try to slow down time and see if I can accomplish what must be done right now, right here. I don't know if it's the flame atronach that's the problem or this other strange asshole over here this dramora evil knievel so i'm going to try to kill the shit out of it in the hopes that that was the problem oh shit okay look all things considered this happens all the time <laughs> look even without the mod situation in the state that it is right now this this would just happen normally <laughs> okay all right let's look <laughs> but that said it worked didn't it it fucking worked <laughs> should i take this cool daedric plate armor with the like extra special red wrappings around it i think so i can't remember if we had taken some before I know we'd come into contact with it before, but I don't know if we actually took it. Oh, shit. Except I can't take it, can I? Okay. Well, that ain't great. Hmm. Eat and drink all this. Let's see. What else can I deal with here? See, I can't remember if we'd ever found it before. Like, I'm pretty sure we'd also found the studded dragon scale. Pretty sure? Fuck it, let's drop it. Watch this crash the game. We're fucking safe, baby. <laughs> okay. Now for a real fucking test. <laughs> let's go into an interior. Will this completely get me? Or am I gonna be fucking cool? Right? Are we gonna be cool going inside? Wait, this is not- <laughs> This is not an interior! <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I was bracing for impact too hard. I was too prepared for things to go sideways. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh, look, I can't even go through this brush. <laughs> Clearly, this is because of the mod situation. <laughs> okay, what is this? More ebony ore? You know, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. We, we're getting too encumbered. What if I find another amazing item? You know? Okay. Let us circle around over here. Anything good this way? 
That's back where we got the horse. Okay. Good. I'm surprised that the horse isn't what dropped the actual item, you know? But I guess it's just in case the horse's body, like, got knocked into the lava or, like, fell through the floor or something, you know? Just in case. Probably safer to put inside of the chest or whatever. Makes sense. Oh, look. Where's the journal at that we're missing? Oh, great. Oh, God. It's this fucking wizard. They're gonna crash the game! Fuck off, wizard! Oh, God. They're in the lava now. Okay, it had to be done. Ooh, my eyes. There we go. Good. I'm very fortunate that the kill cams are not doing it as well, you know? It just occurred to me <laughs> that uh, that would probably be a good source for some problems. Okay. Sure. Man, so that's it? We got everything in here? It can't be. We didn't even have to go inside of a uh, big fucking tower or anything. I thought for sure we'd go in. Huh. Did we really look at it all? It does say to return back to Tamriel. Is that it? We ain't gotta go inside of one of these and, like, fuck around with a sigil stone or whatever? <gasps> no way. See, this is what I was saying. I really thought that it would be a uh, interior over there. Well, I guess we can check our map, right? Let's see. Local map. Yeah, there's no doors anywhere around here. Huh. Okay. Sure. Should we try to swim down this way? Probably be like an invisible, if I had to guess. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, there's an invisible wall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh god, oh my god. Make it. Oh shit. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. Alright, we'll be- <laughs> Oh my god. We'll bear back again. We'll bear back again. Okay, and we are back again. This time running around the back this way. Jeez. <laughs> you know, I am pretty worried about, uh... <laughs> the fuck is gonna happen when we try to leave? Are we just like banished to oblivion now? Is that what's happened? We we're just banished to another plane of existence. I feel like I feel like it's a very real possibility <laughs> that we might be stuck in fucking oblivion. We're never coming back. <laughs> okay, let's see. Going down through this. Yeah, we can hear the oblivion gate and everything. I think it's the same exact noise they used to make way back when, too. I wanna say. Okay. Notice, however, no fucked up, like, tortured remains of mortals and all of that, right? Which I guess makes sense. Maybe they had an influx of, uh, people to torture during the Oblivion Crisis, right? Fair enough. Okay. Well, our quest is to come out here. Let's see what the hell happens. Brace for impact. Oh my god, we're fine? Holy shit! Oh, we have to escape. Oh dear. Retrieve Vonus's journal. Oh right, yeah, remember? That also messed up. Okay. So how do we close this? <laughs> it is still open. <laughs> to, be, to be clear, it's still open. <laughs> right? This, the Jaws of Oblivion are just like flapping away. <laughs> Nothing is closed. Okay. I'm worried that one of these assholes is going to do something and it's going to crash the game. <laughs> right? Some effect is going to pop off and occur. Alright. There we go. Some of these. Look at this dickhead. <laughs> yeah, where are you going to run into the Deadlands? Is that where you're going? No? Okay. Are you too scared? Look, the farting plants are seeping out now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back once more. We'll be right back once more. Alright, we are back once more, and as you can see, I'm slowing time. That way we can hopefully finish these fools off before things get too fucking bad. There we go. 
Hopefully this will work just like the last time. We'll see though. Okay. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's bad. Something fucking happened. What was it? What the fuck? All right, we'll, we'll bear it back again. We'll bear it back again. All right, we're back once more. Look, I'm gonna try and kill these two dudes <laughs> right here in like a normal way, you know? And then I'll I'll use the slow time on the other asshole on the like uh, scaffolding back that way. Let's see, do I have it bound slow time? No. Okay. So let's try it... Right there. Good. I think it might be one of the Vigilants actually doing it. There we go. Okay. Is everybody ch Oh, fuck! Something happens right there that does it. Oh god, that's really bad. Okay, I maybe it's like a quest update or something that does it. Okay, we'll be right back again. We'll be right back again. All right, and we are back once more. <laughs> but this time, I didn't load the, the autosave where we went through the portal. Because I think maybe we'll call it right here. And maybe in between, I'll do some more troubleshooting. And fingers crossed I'll be able to fix it. I'm like 90... Well, okay, I won't say that high, but I'm like 70% sure it is involving Sky UI and like us being applied with like a different character state that is somehow interacting with Sky UI's like files and shit because uh, whenever I go to load up the game, it's the um, SASAE that isn't loading. I get like an error message for it, but I just click and eh, it's fine because that's what we did in the past. Uh, the other times that wasn't working. So we'll have to see. Maybe I, I need to turn it off via, like, uh, Vortex Mod Manager or something, right? But I'll try a whole bunch of shit, right? Like I said, the saves are all backed up, so I'm not too fucking worried, right? Worst case, we just gotta wait for shit to, uh, get updated and all that. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I, I feel fairly confident. I'm really not too worried. <laughs> if you're worried, I wouldn't be worried. I won't be worried. <laughs> but that said, if you do have any advice, feel free to write in, gentle viewer. <laughs> uh, all right. So, a uh, bit of a short one this time, but in truth, actually, in real life for me, it was a little bit of a longer one <laughs> because because I'll have edited out all this extra shit and all that. All right. Wow. <laughs> this was. You know what? Frankly, I couldn't have asked for a better place for the game to start fucking up like this. It really is just like the Oblivion playthrough. <laughs> like, legit, it it for real feels like it right now. The only thing that would, fi that would make it even closer is if we started getting, like, the A-bomb animation to crop back up somehow. Which I'm pretty sure in uh, Special Edition, it got fixed. I want to say in regular Skyrim, though, the A-bomb animation bug does still exist. It's only with Special Edition and, uh, Fallout 4 that that got stamped out of the engine and all of that. Like, I, I'm fairly certain it exists in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, I want to say. Don't quote me on it, though. It definitely existed in Oblivion, though. It definitely existed there. Alright, when next we come back, <laughs> will we be no longer banished to the plane of Oblivion? Will I have to do some other weird workaround? Will I have solved the problem? Will someone have saved me from oblivion? Will a gentle viewer have rescued me from the Deadlands? I'm trapped here now. I'm <laughs> someone please save me. I'm trapped. The princess is not in another castle. I'm right here. <laughs> With Gordon. <laughs> All right. Until next time, please. <laughs> Fuck, there it goes again. Please take care of each other.